Hey guys! May I still play in one of the most manly games I think I've ever seen. Gubble 2! Alphonse is a go! Welcome to the world of spooky music. <laughs> Hello? My name is Gubble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this game will make me laugh a lot. <laughs> Fleegan learning. Learn to fly. Let's begin. Zimbot number I don't know, but it's a level called Learn to Fly. So in this level, I guess we're gonna learn to fly. Oh geez, we are in the top. Okay, okay, okay. F1 text. Let's begin. In this Zimbot. It is fairly difficult to reach the screwdrivers. Read the eye switch. Oh, and watch the ground. If you run out of fuel, I don't know what fuel is. I don't know wh why that's important or anything. Oh, is that fuel? The blue things? Fuel? What do I need fuel for? I'm not entirely sure. Um, you just got a ball of fuel. Did you see how the fuel meter raised? Blue sprit bar down there. Okay. And the green one is health. Yes, okay. While you have fuel, you can press F to fly. Just land to release the button. Sorry about that. There was like little parentheses action going on in that translation. So I, I apparently I could press F to fly and uh, you know explode myself on some landmines. <laughs> I am pretty good at flying. This is... Wow, it takes you back to the title screen. Okay, let, let's try that one again. This time with a bit less dying by explosives. I think that might be <laughs> a good idea. Well, maybe not the greatest idea. I mean, maybe people want to see me explode vigorously. I mean, I suppose that's that's a dreamer's dream. Okay, so I'm gonna hold F ah, to float over the landmines. Awesome, and what do we have here? Okay, there's a red screw back there, which means I gotta use this screw. Gotcha, I think I'm getting a grasp for the controls too, and wow, this screwdriver moves kind of hilariously. Mm, I am levitating across the seascape here. And also there's a big old satellite dish there, and uh, Gobble does not like it. He uses his eyes to express his distaste. Whoa! Flights! Growling angry beavers in the background with pink plants, dignifying and signifying that it is the land worth living, worth cultivating, and the waters, they act as if they are a summit for all those fish to climb up to and get a breath of fresh air, even if it kills them. That had nothing to do with the level at ease, but this time we will be moving on yet again. Uh, sponge und loss. Sponge and go! Okay. Sponge and go. Whoa. Music is going on here and it's pretty rocking now. Uh, F1 text. Right, 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 right. You are stuck, huh? But you can jump in every direction off the sponge. Just before you land on him, press the desired direction. Oh, and if you are too close to the sponge, you'll probably jump over it. That's what I was concerned about. And there's no other hint in this level. Well, that's nice. All right, s Mr. Screwdriver, let's screw and unscrew the entire world. Like, are we doing like, are we completely undoing the infrastructure of the land or something? Is that what's going on here? Because that sounds kind of evil in a way. Wait, I think what I want to do is I want to push. Can I, I can't push the sponge. So how am I gonna get the screwdrivers over to that side? I'm not entirely sure. It's a puzzle. I don't think I can jump across this on the screwdriver. No, I cannot. So, how is this gonna work? There's also a teleporter over there. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe the teleporter thingy that looks like a teleporter will teleport me. I know that's probably not the case, but let's see if it works. Whoa! It does work. Miraculous! In fact, it's fantastic. But you cannot screw things with the wrong color screw, unfortunately. It is not something that you could do. They do not fit. They are not a match. Screwdrivers are like human genitalia. You gotta match them up else it doesn't really work correctly, but it still functions somewhat. Kind of looked down upon in some cultures, which is a bit unfortunate. Some best 84! Well, that is just fantastic. 
Now we get to go to the boss level. Mr. Pirate Coin guy over there with his eye patch. That's actually just a decal. He'll reach us! Okay! Helping eye. That's exactly what I thought it said. I just need to look at the translation for a bit of help. That is. <laughs> that is an eyeball. That is an eyeball with legs. Hint machine. Uh, in this Zimbot, your task is easy. Step on the yellow switch. Goal. Okay. Next page. The red switches control the gates. Something should press them, even if it is not you. Aha, I think I get the gist of it. So I need to press the yellow switch. But there's like catwalk things around here. And what's with the red switches? And what's with this saw machine? Apparently I can go in a saw. Can I saw down this wall here? Apparently not, but I need to simultaneously press the red switches, I guess, maybe? Works for me. And then maybe that eyeball will press the other red switch once we lower everything, and then we'll get to the yellow switch. Will it work? Yes! No? Uh, hmm. Okay, I think what I need to do is, like, trap the dude on the switch so that it stays on the switch. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Eyeball! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Let's go for another pass, I guess. I should probably have switched the saw blade thing. Like, why is the saw blade an object of this kind of nature? Ha! Ah, there we go! He's stuck on the switch. And now I should be able to use the saw blade to get up there, or I can jump it, maybe? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Got me too. It's K. <laughs> this game is kind of scary, actually. Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I kind of expected that with the scary noises, but uh, that w that was scarier than I think I anticipated. All right. So the next level is called Guashashashashkash, but I don't know where it is. Is is this the level? Ah, yes, it is. But before I do, I need to uh, do the thing. All right, Guashuash, the greenhouse. How oh, cool, it's got like a little roof and scary freaking eyeballs going to attack me, fantastic. Okay, this Zimbot looks easy, question mark. It is, well, if you just stay away from the arachnoclops, when they see you, you should run away, okay? Next page, when you're in trouble, you can get the blue poof bottle. That will make en the enemies vanish for a few seconds. If you don't collect it, you get bonus points. I see. Well, I should probably just collect it just to see what it does. The blue poof bottle. Very well. Um, always, when walls or columns are hiding parts of the Zimba, you should try to explore them. Maybe you'll find a surprise. So, oh, yay! So, I don't want to get mauled by your eye lasers or whatever you guys have, you creepy arachnophobic freaks. So, goodbye! <laughs> they just sort of vanish from existence. Oh wait, is it a temporary thing? Did I find a thing? I think I found like a bonus place behind a column. It was completely on accident, but... Uh, oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to like jump upwards. Oh no, there's a blue machine now. Uh, spoiler, there's gonna be a blue thingy. Can't wait to figure out what kind of screws it unplugs because it looks pretty awesome. Also, there's the saw blade. You know, I'm just gonna kind of collect the saw blades, no big deal. You know, Mr. Gubble, he likes to cut himself on saw blades. It's part of his mantra. He lives day to day knowing that he can saw himself into a better tomorrow. I'll take this, and this, and some of this, and oh no, I didn't get it. Oh well. I have no idea, like, what these are for. Like, do you get points that are special in any form, or are they just kind of there? I I will never know. I will never know. Oh, okay, they're, they're, they're back. They're back. The Eyclops, Cyclops, Arachnoclops are back and ready to make me afraid of them with their beady four-legged bodies. They are quadrilaterals, but they do not know how to fight me, so I guess they're pretty... Okay, oh god! Oh my freaking... <laughs> Poison mist of the damned, I have averted ye. All the plants in the background are exactly the same, but we don't pay attention to that. We don't pay attention to little idiosyncrasies that are come along with this game. So, go watch Shashash! You have been vanquished. What's the next one? The next one is quadrates. Yes, squares. 
That's a pretty easy one to Englishize, unfortunately. Whoa, we're all zoomed out. Okay, crazy. <laughs> As a difference to the spike balls, the spike stars can't turn around. Anyways, they f will follow you until they found you. That English was a little borked, I think. But that's okay. Ah! Okay, so the. Ouch, 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 ouch. Agony, agony. I think I need a. Okay, there's a green s screwdriver, it looks like, so I guess I need to use the green one to unplug the gray things. That's not as obvious as you might think, but I guess since this is tutorial. Oh, because the base of the screw. Ouch! Man, those things are good at hitting you. So yeah, they do follow you. So yeah, since the base of the screw is the color of correctness. It is correct. Wow, these things are actually pretty dangerous. Like, it seems like they f like don't really follow you that well, but then they follow you pretty well, and you find yourself getting killed by their ah! evil. And since they knock you off your screw, they're actually kind of a nuisance. So please, Mr. Guys, Mr. Spike Stars, ouch, don't cause me pain. I have limited health, you know. I could die and have to go with a title screen, and that would not be a very good thing at all. So apparently this was all about squares that are actually... Well, I, I guess they are considered squares, but they look like rectangles from this angle. Freaking obligatory oblique angle. Bop, 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 indeed. Uh, what would be the next level? I don't know, there might have been like something blocking this direction, but I keep like unlocking everything before I even get to that point. So let's take it slow and see if we can... Paranoid, paranoid. Okay, that's the next one. Let's do it. Paranoid, paranoid. Apparently, that's the same in both languages. I, I don't know. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. A boom, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Did you have the feeling that someone is following you before? Well, I hope not, especially if I'm like in a creepy dark hallway or anything. Oh, jeez. Okay, so spike balls. They don't like me. Apparently. This is the crab screwdriver. It can grab things that are the color of crab, which is brown. Ouch! Okay, this is <laughs> kind of <laughs> all over the place. I just gotta make it through. Everything's evil. Everything wants to be dead. But it's okay because we can just bounce all over the freaking place. Got to get everything. We won't die. We will live this night and we won't freaking fly because we'll jump instead. Spike ball guys in my head. Don't kill me. I want to live some more. That that's a pretty great song. No! Whoa! No! Stalker! Stalker! Get out of here! No, 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 no! I want my thing! Run away, run away. The spike balls want to kill my hair. But I refuse to allow them. No! Dang it! I wish I could kill you. Get out of here. Come over here, guys. I need my machine, though. I mean, I guess I don't do that much damage, so maybe I shouldn't be worrying that much. Ow, but it's stuck on my body. Get on the thing. Get on the thing. Go, go, go. Lure them like maybe. Yeah, maybe I should lure them onto the jump panels instead of going on the jump panels myself like that. See you guys later. Except you want to have a bone to pick with me, but I will escape. Oh, except for you. Wow, that guy was smart. He knew where I was going, and he did not want me to succeed. Go, 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 man! Jump over there and get that last two little things. Yeah, this one had a lot of screws to unscrew there. Destroying the entire infrastructure of this planet is my goal, apparently. And you know what? I think I'm okay with that. Alrighty then. So the next area is going to be over on a direction. I'm not entirely sure which one, but I'm assuming over here, since the end of the world seemed to be all on the other side. Ah, uh, wow, that's kind of a lot of levels to do, but maybe I can do these last three? Maybe, maybe, last two, maybe. We'll see. Which one is this? Herbsenzelair! That's it. Nitpickers, or pea counter. Okay. <laughs> so the enemies are called nitpickers. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> those things are adorable. <laughs> They are! Uh, okay. F1 text. Where is it? There is something coming down for you! Dodge their fire and remove all the nails while they reload. With this tactic, are you safe? With this tactic, you are safe. Sure. Question mark. Um, okay, so these are nails and not screws. And it seems like there is some, uh, like it takes a bit longer to go up the wall, basically like up a slope, so there's some physics going on that is a bit more complicated than I think 
you might realize if you just look at this game from afar and say, that's a game. So how do I avoid these things? I mean, I know I can just like sort of move in a direction like this and they will never really hit me, so I'm pleased about that. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away! And now, go for the kill, go for the kill, go for the kill, go for the kill, yes! Repetition is a child's way of learning the ropes. Next planet. Okay. Uh, hopefully... <laughs> hopefully there's not, uh, too much text in the next one, because I gotta scroll down. This is it. Safety for beginners. Schisserheit für Affanger. I don't know. Oh my, okay, so there is an info text, so I'm gonna have to scroll my thing. Alright, should be fine now. Shields can be very useful, but always remember, the shields only help when you look in the direction of danger, of the danger. Okay. In this Zimbot, there are, like in many others, no tools. You have to get to the yellow switch goal. Okay, so not every level ends with screws. Some end with that yellow panel. Uh, where's that text? In this Zimbot, you have to save your shield until you really need it. Collect the box with the shield, but only activate it with the S button when you are in danger. Okay, gotcha. So, S button for danger accessorizing. Okay, so... Bullets shoot occasionally from bullet shooters. Got it. You gotta get out of the way just in time to avoid being shot at. <laughs> and then they blow each other up, because that's what friends do. Wow, they are dangerous machines, aren't they? And this over here is probably where I'm going to need, yeah, to use the shield, so... Yes! Yes! Shield! Ouch! Got shot in the side! It's okay, it's okay! Victory is ours, nonetheless! Oh man, should I just go for the kill and do the last two levels in this general zone? Possibly. Let's do it! Let's do it! Whoa, 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 whoa. what's that called? Big gib dick oof ein hocher ebbe. I cannot. I'm sorry. Get onto the higher way. Ah! Stuff is assaulting me without me looking. Run, 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 run. Why is there a yellow screwdriver? There has to be a reason. Maybe you should use it as a jumping help. Remember that you can stop with the button D. Very well. I will run away and not get exploded by your mind. Things that are being thrown around on my face tonight. I'm wearing red and it's pretty alright. Why is there a plant there? Plant, will you help me? You're not a helpful plant. Plant, you're destroying me. Why would you do this to me? I trusted all the flora until now. But now even technology wants to be dead. Oh, I see what you want me to do now. Now that I actually look at what's going on, uh, let's stand here and be safe temporarily. Watch out for the mines! Explode already, please! Run away, do the surf and dorf and dance on the screwdriver man. Do what you can, going up and down the stairs of land. <laughs> okay, this game is pretty interactable and pretty fun at actually having things to do called drilling a screw. I win! Just barely. Just in the freaking nick of time. Almost got destroyed by those mine launchers. What? What's up with them? What is this planet and why is it filled with so many violent creatures and exploding at random? But it looks like we are off to the final land here. Pirate Pete Umzingelt surrounded! I think I have an understanding of what's gonna happen. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What's going on? Those mine throwers can be pretty mean fiends. They throw landmines on the place where you stand. Stand on. Move! When the mine throwers are really annoying, collect the blue poof bottle. They'll disappear then. Okay. So yeah, the invincibility thingy. And wow. Well, not invincibility, but it kills all the freaking foes. But I will get a bonus if I don't just use the, bo the, 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 the bottle. So let's see if I can... Ouch! Do this without using the bottle, but the explosion is everywhere. But victory was mine. The Zeit bonus, Lebens bonus, Split bonus, Extra bonus, Zimbot geschafft, Summe best 144! <laughs> I think I might be over exaggerating for this game, but I think 
that will be where we end off this day, this fine day. This game is... It, it's more fun than you might think, actually. I think that is what's going on here. Like, it seems really... Like, the game looks really old and, like, it's really for kids, and it probably is, but 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 still, all games are for kids in reality, except the ones that aren't. So, see you guys next time for when I guess we continue World 1. I bet we finish it. I bet we even have time for some World 2 action, if World 2 is there. See you guys then. You know,